Welcome to this overview of the Difficult Airway Society guidelines for awake tracheal intubation in adults. This video is designed for medical professionals, anesthesiologists, and healthcare providers involved in airway management. We'll explore why these guidelines are crucial, how they enhance patient safety, and why embracing ATI can be a game changer in managing difficult airways. The Difficult Airway Society, or DAS, provides evidence-based and consensus-driven recommendations. These guidelines aim to standardize practice, enhance safety, and encourage broader adoption of awake tracheal intubation in clinical airway management. Awake tracheal intubation, or ATI, is a procedure where a breathing tube is inserted into the windpipe while the patient remains conscious. It's often used when a difficult airway is anticipated, meaning there might be challenges with standard intubation methods. Though underused, ATI boasts a high success rate and a strong safety profile in anticipated difficult airway cases. It allows the patient to maintain their own breathing and airway reflexes, significantly reducing risks compared to intubating an unconscious patient with a compromised airway. The DAS guidelines break down ATI into core practical elements, covering everything from patient selection to complication management. By standardizing these aspects, we can ensure consistent, high-quality care across different clinical settings. ATI is indicated in cases where a difficult airway is predicted. This includes patients with anatomical abnormalities, certain medical conditions, or a history of difficult intubation. The guidelines provide clear criteria to help clinicians identify when ATI is the safest approach. Thorough preparation is vital. This involves a comprehensive patient assessment, clear communication, and optimizing patient positioning. Adequate preparation ensures patient comfort and maximizes the chances of a successful intubation. Effective sedation and topicalization are key to making ATI comfortable and tolerable for the patient. The guidelines provide detailed recommendations on different pharmacological agents and techniques for numbing the airway, ensuring patient cooperation and minimizing discomfort. The ATI procedure itself is performed meticulously, focusing on patient safety at every step. This involves careful insertion of the tube, continuous monitoring of the patient, and adherence to sterile techniques to prevent complications. Maintaining adequate oxygenation throughout the procedure is critical. The guidelines emphasize various oxygenation strategies, such as nasal cannulae or face masks, to prevent desaturation and ensure patient well-being during intubation. Verification of tube placement is non-negotiable. Techniques like capnography, direct visualization, and auscultation are used to confirm that the tube is correctly positioned in the trachea, preventing serious complications. Despite meticulous planning, complications can arise. The guidelines outline clear protocols for managing potential issues, such as bleeding, coughing, or intubation failure. Having a robust plan ensures that complications are addressed swiftly and effectively. To ensure the widespread and safe adoption of ATI, comprehensive training and implementation strategies are essential. This section of the guidelines focuses on equipping healthcare professionals with the necessary skills and knowledge. Training programs should cover theoretical knowledge, practical skills, and crisis management. Simulation-based training is particularly valuable, allowing practitioners to gain confidence and experience in a safe environment. Encouraging broader adoption involves ongoing education, regular practice, and fostering a culture where ATI is considered a primary option for anticipated difficult airways. This shift in practice ultimately leads to improved patient outcomes. By following the Difficult Airway Society guidelines, we can enhance patient safety, standardize practices, and ultimately save lives. Thank you for watching. For more information, please refer to the full DAS guidelines.